What's up, guys? Charlie NASCAR here coming at you with the final race of the regular season at Daytona. I am pretty sure it's going to be a wild one. It's going to be crazy. Hopefully, the race doesn't have any hiccups or delays. I am worried because with all the hurricanes coming up, granted, it's on the other side of the of Florida, it's on the West Coast, where the hurricanes have been coming up in storms. It's still rainy season down there south in Florida, so hopefully we don't get rained out. Hopefully it's a nice, clear night, slick track, and plenty of wild racing. It's going to be crazy. I expect the racing to begin to be kind of ho-hum. Then once old uh, Ricky Stunhouse moves up, to, starts moving up, that's when things will get wild. Hopefully, the one thing I'm hoping for this race is either Hamlin or Harvick don't win. That's no disrespect to Kevin Harvick because people say, Oh, what are you doing picking on a Ford driver? I thought you only ate Toyota. I just want someone different, and I think this race will give it to us. I have also made my fantasy picks. I had uses left the way I wanted it to. So in my fantasy lineup, I put William Byron, Jimmy Johnson, Joey Logano, Brad Keselowski, and of course, my man, Ryan Blaney. I got in my garage, I got Chase Elliott. I don't think Alex Bowman, of all the Hendrick guys, even though he runs fast there, you know, he's kind of the odd man out. I'm predicting. I put it in my winning. I think this is where William Byron gets his first win. And I think Matt D, unfortunately, as much as I do like him, and I want him to be able to have a continued ride with the Wood Brothers, I think he falls out early. And I think Jimmy Johnson points his way in. And, you know, Clint Boyer, he's technically not in, but he only needs four points. He'll finish better than 35th or 33rd or whatever it is. So he'll be all right. So that's my prediction. It'll be Byron and Johnson. We'll both get wins in there. So wait a minute, Matt D, actually, I take that back. Matt D will be in it then for points. I mean, Tyler Reddick's not close enough in points to jump Matt D. So I apologize for that. Sorry if I scared anybody, but I can be wrong from time to time. I, I'm just I'm just hyped up about this race. It's going to be a good one. Hope you all enjoy it. I will see you after the race. And remember, guys, I'll be good to one another. And more importantly, let's just say fuck Toyota.